Hello Cancer, welcome back to my channel Crystal Moon. I am Crystal, I hope you guys are doing well. So we are going to get into your monthly general reading, what energy surrounds you, what message of spirit would like to tell you for your highest good advice. This is for your sun, moon, and rising. So if it does not resonate here with your sun sign, go and check out your moon and your rising, okay? I also would like to mention, if you would like a personal reading, please email me. My email is in the description box below. So let's begin. Welcome back, Cancer. Let's get started with your messages here. Thank you, universe. Thank you, divine. What do we have for cancer? Spirit, what do we have for cancer? Okay, what energy surrounds them? What messages do they need to hear at the moment for their highest good advice given um, for whatever they're going through? This is for cancer. Thank you, universe. Thank you. What messages do we have for cancer? Excuse my neighbors. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Okay, what do we have for Cancer? Cancer, okay, so I'm seeing here, hold on, let me get, oh, I'm seeing here, oh, that one wanted to pop out. So, <clears throat> Cancer, what is, going on here surrounding you as I feel like there is a lot of tension not within you but maybe with you and others um, I don't feel like it's something that you put your energy into I don't feel like it's something you really address because I see you here in the Empress energy a very um, confident very in touch with yourself very um, like when I when I look at it that what I hear is like sitting pretty like I'm just sitting Pretty. I'm sitting in my power and that's pretty much it like what you got what you doing and I feel like with this five of wands and the page of swords that is surrounding you in this dynamic that there is a lot of conflict tension that surrounds you okay like so it might be people or situations that are coming up that are pushing you or trying to fight you or trying to start something with you something of that nature and being that they're page of swords here it's because they've been watching you they've been i mean some people say this is a spy card but you know that they have just been studying what you're doing um really taking it all in and i feel like there's the good people that watch you right but then there's the the haters that watch you and it's kind of like they're trying to stir up trouble here but you are sitting in empress the empress energy so it's like you don't give a okay you don't care that stuff is not even bothering you you have no need to pay attention to it you know where you're at you know where you stand okay you worked your way to get to this seat out in nature and you're just one with everything around like you're just so in touch and in tune with yourself that all that that's on the outside of you it's irrelevant but it is going on and i i feel like you are aware of that and it is happening but i don't feel like you're paying it any mind you're not giving it any attention <clears throat> okay what else do we have for cancer spirit what else do we have for cancer yeah so you literally got the nine of wands right underneath that empress like i said you're blocking it you're just that like you're, you see that it's there you see that it's going on okay you've learned from past events you know by being hurt excuse my nails i know they're ratchet right now um but you've learned from past events you know like he's he's kind of wounded he's kind of, but i feel like that energy like yeah, I learned. I, I've gotten hurt before. I've been in this before. I know the outcome. So you see, that's why those walls are up. That's why I built a little bit of like, you know, boundaries between me and my personal and the outside of what drama is going on. So I definitely feel that. It's just right under the Empress. Right under the um, Five of Wands <clears throat> is the Three of Wands, okay? 
Let me pull one more card. Yes, <laughs> I love it. So you have the three of wands here. So what I'm feeling here is you, th that's that same energy of you looking, you're seeing the future ahead. You're seeing what's coming towards you. You've envisioned that you are putting your intentions towards it. You are manifesting that towards. So while these people over here playing their games, doing whatever, trying to bring conflict, trying to bring drama, just all over the place, you are sitting here because these are the people that are all over the place. Okay, you are sitting here, chill, chill as a mofo, okay, just looking out. It's almost as if I get this energy as you looking at them too in some way, like, yeah, I see y'all, y'all acting a fool, whatever. I don't care, right? Um, but you do have your intention set. You also have the five of swords out. So this is still like... I'm getting very strong feeling of you just not putting up with any BS. You have the Page of Swords. Right under that is the Five of Swords. So that's this. I get a feeling in this card like you are just like, go. Like, go ahead and go. All right. Like, whether this is you walking away from the drama that's going on here. Okay. Like, this person's trying to start mess and you walking away. You take it. You're like, I'm, I'm not in this anymore. I'm not in this fight. I'm not trying to fight. Just go on. Take whatever you want. Take it. Because I, I got other things that I need to do. <clears throat> like, you just don't got time for it. Like, that's what I'm saying. Or if you're looking at it, I can see it also in the same position with this person um, carrying the swords is, you know what? Like, bye. Like, you telling them bye. Like, you saying telling them to go away so i this card for me like either way it's the same message right doesn't matter if you're that person but you're either walking away from the situation or you're telling the people i go ahead and get out of my face go like i you're not watch me all you want you know spy on me all you want study me all you want but if you're in here trying to cause drama bye i see you later okay <clears throat> so, what else do we have for Cancer? What else do we have for Cancer Spirit? Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. What else do we have for Cancer? What messages? Okay, this card wants to come out for some reason. Really? So you have the Hermit, the King of Pentacles that's falling right down the line under the Empress. Love that for you. Uh, and the Ace, I mean the Ace, the Eight of Wands. So Hermit, 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 Hermit. <clears throat> Since it's a major Arcana card, it has more like power behind it, behind its meaning, behind the feel. And I'm really, really getting that feeling of that guidance, that knowledge, okay? Because you see, he's holding, okay. Yep, he's holding the lantern. Okay, he is still alone, okay? Just like in this energy. So I'm really getting that strong sense of you realize like coming to a realization of who you are as a person who you are as a person and making that stand it may have took time to retreat you might have had a retreat and, and back away from things as well as back away from that drama okay that you will be or possibly are ensuing right now backing away from that and kind of staying in your own protective little bubble here if you will but only protecting from the the negative vibes that are coming in um but i also feel that guidance in there you know like with that star and that lantern like the light the star the um the wish that you are wanting to move towards for yourself like i really have a strong feeling that uh you're moving into that direction very confidently and very firmly especially with that empress out um, and then you have that King of Pentacles that sits right beside the Hermit. So it is a strong foundational um, 
like it is just sturdy on where you're standing. Like I'm feeling that very, very much. So it's so powerful and so strong. It's almost like that people that, or a situation that you could be in is not going to affect you because you are so heavily grounded, strong, rooted, like in this way that nothing is going to push you over. Nothing is going to sway you from who you are or what your purpose is or what you're trying to do. Um, I feel like as well, it is something that brings abundance to it brings abundance for you, but in that way, it doesn't have to be monetary. It doesn't, it's just a fulfilling effect that you know you're blessed. You can appreciate the beauty of things that are around you. You can appreciate nature. You can appreciate that you have a, a cell phone in your hand. You can appreciate that you have lights in your house. So you know all these things that we live with, the commodities that we have. Like, I feel like you embrace it all, you know, not just material, but just those things and as well as just the natural things that happen or that exist in life like you are embracing it all and like awing of it you know like oh my gosh it's it's so beautiful it's such a blessing to have this that and you know being lucky and feeling good waking up the next day that you're still here just to, to do whatever it is that you need to do like i really really feel that especially with that empress energy okay so moving on <laughs> I'm feeling good, you know, from you guys, Cancer. Um, the Eight of Wands here, okay, this fast energy. I feel like this energy is something that is pushing you and propelling you moving into that direction that you're going. Whether you know what direction you're going in or not, whether you see it or not, I feel like it's pushing you there. I'm really getting a sense of... <clears throat> what's to come kind of deal like uh i don't really feel like this eight of wands is relative in this spread for some reason that was the last card i pulled for it i'm feeling like it's the like wh where are you about to go we're about to show you like spirit saying we're about to show you what's about to happen so i'm gonna go ahead and pull some more cards for you know like your future type energy that's coming that's gonna surround you but i feel like right now in this situation you are definitely standing in your power, Cancer. You are definitely not allowing people, things, issues, situations, um, whatever that is, to affect your sitting on your throne. You're not allowing that. Like, I'm here. This is my seat. Okay? And I ain't moving. So... You got plans. So let's see your future energy here, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer Spirit? What future energy surrounds Cancer? Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. Whew, cancer, feeling good. I like when I get readings like this because I feel the passion and conviction behind it. It makes me feel good. Like, I like it. All right. <laughs> so cancer what i got for you here future energy you do have the eight of swords the four of coins and the ace of pentacles the ace of coins so Seeing that this Eight of Wands has moved into, or I'm feeling like it's moved into that Eight of Swords, so that's, that's an Eight Eight there. Um, eight it happens to be my favorite number, by the way. Um, <clears throat> I'm feeling like <clears throat> what's about to happen, what's about to happen is you are about to discover things that you were not even aware of that's my kid sorry um and i say that because with this energy when i'm looking at this it's almost like i know this not this might sound crazy to you guys but this is how i see it so this is how i got it sitting down here you see this eight of wands coming in towards this eight of swords i feel like this energy is going to be pushed and propelled 
into this energy and disrupt it. It's going to shake it up. It's going to, that blindfold is going to drop. Those swords are going to fall. Everything around you that you thought you knew is now going to come to light and you're going to see it, okay? You're going to see things that you might have never seen before. You're going to experience things you might have never experienced before. And I don't feel like you see that coming. I feel like it's going to progress in this way. So the blindfold comes off, the binds come off, you become even more free because you're already in the Empress energy, okay? You're already in the Empress, the King of Pentacles, very strong. And I feel like this energy that the Eight of Wands that comes in is going to layer it up to the point, like it's just going to add another layer is what I mean to your strength here and it's going to allow what you thought was even in your good energy here um to be almost woken up to something new because you were blinded and this is a force that's coming in very quick and very fast if you've not experienced anything like this you will be experiencing something very suddenly and you're going to see things differently okay cancer so the four of coins here the four of coins is still that essence i feel for you is being very protective of your it could be assets it could be the things that matter to you the things that you value whether that's yourself whether that's your energy where whether that is material things but it is you being very very protective over that okay so it still goes into this um, spread in this energy of you being very firm and grounded and standing and confident, self-knowing, empowered, all of that. But when this thing happens where your eyes are open, okay, and the things that you thought you knew that were around you finally fall because the swords will fall. This is coming in fast. It's going to knock everything your blindfold's going to come off, your bind's going to come off, and you're going to be freer, okay, I'll say freer, um, you are going to really realize what matters and what does not matter. You have, you're already there, like, don't get me wrong, like, you're already there in some way with yourself, but you're going to see a bigger thing here that's going to make you even see things that are more valuable and see things that are more worthy and worth it. And this is what you're going to cherish and hold on to, okay? You're going to protect it, all right? You're going to um, use that in a form of um, foundation, if you will, to build upon whatever is going to move you forward. Like, so let me give you an example. Like, when you finally find out what is matters to you, what, what is, what you see now in the truth form, and you have now discerned that this particular, I'll just say, I'm trying to find some, okay, I'll just use the card, that this card is valuable to me. This card means something to me. This card I want to protect. I want to keep it. This is going to be something as well that is going to build the foundation of what you want to speak about, what you want to talk about, what you want to communicate about, uh, what you want to share, what you want to give, what you don't want to give. Like, it will be on the grounds of this valued asset. It could be information. Okay, it could be a relationship. It could be actual physical things, but it will come from that value, if that makes sense. Okay, so we now are moving into the Ace of Pentacles here, and we all know this is a new start, a new beginning to something, new things coming in, uh, new stability, new abundance, uh, new security. Uh, I feel like for you, this change in opening your eyes 
is going to bring in new offerings of things. Just good things are out there for you. And I feel like you are moving into that direction to receive them. Okay, this could also mean you as well, Cancer, offering to others, in some of you, some of you, you offering some type of asset, okay? Some type of um, security to someone as well. So you might also give stability to someone, you know, that might be on shaky grounds, giving them some kind of base to start from. But that's some of you, the other parts of the other cancers out there, I feel like it's more coming towards you. You're going to receive, all right? Okay, let's see what else Spirit has to say. Let's see what else, sorry. Let's see what else Spirit has to say for Cancer. What do we have for Cancer Spirit? Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Divine. What messages, other messages we have for Cancer? Advice for their highest good, working together. All right, hold on, I'm gonna take the ones that flipped over. Working together, ooh, child, okay. So you got the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles that wanna come out, I told you, with that Ace of Pentacles, there's going to be new beginnings in something, right? New beginnings in finance, if you have new money coming in. Uh, stability, security, like I said, um, just that foundational beginning. And I see you here with the three of pentacles. So, you know, collabing, starting something with someone, working together, inter integrating, you know, and I see that too with the, the ten of pentacles as well, like integrating fellowship, you know, just kind of going in and out of um, socialness or just interacting with others, building foundations, building connections. That's what I see. One more card, and then the last card out is the Wheel of Fortune. So there is that change that is happening, okay, or that will be coming towards you. I feel like Spirit is saying, keep open to that, you know, keep the connections that you've made um, there and growing on working together, you know. I feel like with the page, with the um, Wheel of Fortune there that this is going to pull you into the direction of the change that is going to be occurring that's surrounding you. I don't know what change that will be, but I can ask real quick. I usually stop right here. Why is the Will of Fortune out, Spirit? Why is the Will of Fortune out? Can you clarify the Will of Fortune for me for Cancer? Why is the Will of Fortune here? Please clarify the Will of Fortune for me. Thank you. We are, the world is clarifying the will of fortune. So that is a closing. So whatever is going to be coming towards you, future energy, um, keeping that connection with people, um, keeping the interaction, the fellowship, like I said, just integrating, networking, I'm feeling, is going to shift you in a whole new direction. And it's actually going to close out whatever it is that you possibly have been doing already or been experiencing or going through. And it's going to close that out and start a new beginning for you. You are about to start a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles is there. Like I said, new things are about to happen for you, Cancer. So I hope you are ready. I am excited for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. And I'll see you later. Bye.